All right, uh, welcome guys. Uh, you like the the little shitty webcam I'm using? Um, I plan on upgrading that eventually. I'm gonna use something else. Hold on, let me see what I look like. You can see me. Uh, yeah. So I know it's 240p quality, okay? But don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to what's on the screen, okay? I'm gonna be playing video games here in a little bit. Uh. I'm starting with a little, with a couple of church announcements once again. Uh, what happened in the last church announcements didn't come th uh, through like I thought it would. Uh, but we move forward. We persevere. You know how we do, okay? I'm, uh, I got new plans in, in, in motion right now, okay? I got some other shit I'm, I'm trying to get going. Firstly, we we still are uh, moving forward with all the podcasts that I'm supposed to be doing with Chandler and Xavier. We 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 working on uh, everybody's schedules lining up so that we can get that going. Uh, a lot of the times it's my fault, to be honest. <laughs> the times that Chandler want to talk, I'm not able to get on. All the times I have something, he's not even to get on. But most of the time, it's me. So you can put it all on me, but I'm working on it, okay? We're going to fuck around. Today's Thursday. We might do this shit Friday. But anyhow, uh, that, that's number one. Number two, um, I'm going to try to start doing more of these from my desktop here. I'm figuring out how to use OBS. I'm figuring out how to uh, record uh, different scenes and... You know, I'm I'm trying to do the streamer shit, okay? I'm trying to get good at this shit so that they could pay me like Kai Sanat. I'm trying to get Kai Sanat money, all right? If he can scream into a camera and get millions of dollars, why can't I? I'm black. I have hair that's curly like his. I don't have dreads, but I can if I want to, you know? I'm trying to get this YouTube money. So, you know, I must, I must start, uh, and shouts out to all the people who actually do be watching my videos. Shout out to that one guy. I'm sorry. I can't remember your, your name off the top of my head. This nigga likes and comments every video I drop. He's a real nigga. I fucks with him. Uh, if only I could get the rest of the 200 people on my page, but that's okay. We, you know, I gotta start putting more content out to make people want to come. So I got you. I understand. I'm, I'm working on that. Uh, but you know, that's number two, man. I'm gonna uh, start doing more of my podcast with my friends. We got a lot coming in, in, uh, in the future. Uh, I'm up planning on upgrading my rigs so that I can uh, play m some more demanding games. I've been rocking a, a 580 here for the past five years, and it's still doing me good. It's still, you know what I'm saying? It, it's running like it's supposed to. I'm getting a decent enough frame rate, but, you know, I'll be jealous of motherfuckers with more powerful GPUs. Oh, somebody's screaming at me. Uh yeah, they uh they be able to play them games at uh fourteen forty p sixty frames a second. I'd be jealous. So you know, I'm a I'm I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna probably start having more gameplay for my PC. I'm a I'm transitioning away from doing uh these streams on my PlayStation. It was just it is it first of all the quality wasn't very good as because it's streaming from my from the PlayStation. Uh, I've tried to get people uh, organized using the PlayStation Party system and motherfuckers, uh, not everybody that I want to deal with and have conversations with uh, want to get on PlayStation Party, even though you can put the PlayStation Party, the PlayStation app on your phone and do it that way. Motherfuckers don't want to do it that way. It's whatever. I have more control over the production when I do it from my computer anyway. So I'm going to just start doing it like that from now on i might do a couple more streams from my uh playstation but you know going forward uh, you're gonna be seeing my desktop here and by the way i don't give a fuck what y'all see on my screen i you know what i'm saying i you can see my desktop i i got a bunch of um legally obtained video games on my computer 
Yeah, you know, I ain't worried about y'all seeing none of that shit. So it is what it is. I don't feel like going through the trouble of figuring out how to hide my screen. I ain't gonna have a Vosh uh, situation where he clicked the wrong thing and s some shit show up that's not supposed to show up. I ain't got that problem, so I don't care if you. I'm gonna just start. I'm gonna just fucking go willy nilly on this screen, okay? So if it if don't tell me, oh man, what you doing? Why you doing it? I know what I'm doing. I'm doing it on purpose. Uh, the reason I got this guy's page pulled up, actually, is because he said something goofy to me. It was a uh, it's a couple of things I kind of want to touch on. I'm gonna jump out of here. I don't want to take too long on this like I did with the Sonic video. Uh, this motherfucker. He fucking. He fucking tried to. Uh, first of all, let me give you a little background on who this guy is. OK. I don't know if you guys know about the Gamergate era and the anti-SJW era, the uh, skeptic era. He was one of the niggas that did not survive the skeptic era. And he's he's on his he's he's on his last legs. OK, he's doing the best he can. He's he's got 10 likes and six comments on a 15,000 uh, subscriber channel, I think. Uh. Well, never mind. I don't, that I don't know if that happened, but he, he's he's a dying anti-SJW channel. Okay, he, him just like the rest of the fucking Avatar guy. He's uh he's a less eloquent version of what some black guy was. I don't know if y'all remember him. Well, you know, some black guy at least had the the decency. To stop making videos on this anti-SJW shit. He's he's leaning into his uh, cringe, I'm a black guy who likes metal phase. He's he's doing that now. He's not doing the anti-SJW shit no more. But he's like, the this Tyler guy is just a less eloquent version of him. He's just a black dude that they use to say the talking points that they want to say. And it not come off as racist. And uh, <laughs> he talks like he has like marbles in his mouth the nigga he can't speak he's a mush mouth nigga it, I, it always pains me when i have to deal with niggas who got mush mouths okay the nigga don't know how to talk and has the nerve to try to teach people and learn how to speak spanish you barely know how to speak english and you're trying to speak spanish you need to get your life together but <laughs> that's a tangent okay this guy he decided, uh, well, first, I, I was subscribed to him because I was subscribed to all the anti-SJW niggas because uh, I was one for a little while. And then I jumped off of it when I realized it was gay and cringe. And uh, but I never dis I never unsubscribed to a lot of those niggas. I'm still subscribed to most of them, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's in the uh, community section of his page, putting a whole bunch of random you know, getting into a bunch of internet arguments with people and uh, publishing them on his community page, which I think is goofy as hell. And one of them, he uh, was the one where he brought uh, where he responded to me. Where was it? I want to give as much context to this as I possibly can. Where is it? Because he was the where he posted my comment was actually a response to a different comment that somebody else says. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. Fuck. This is the latest one. It was from a day ago. So that's how you you could tell he's going crazy. This is less than a day ago that this happened, and my man is. Uh, is I have to go all the way back to find the shit. But at, at any rate, he was talking about. The same thing that all the rest of these anti-SJW, you know, all the anti-SJW niggas switched from talking about uh, liberals uh, at college campuses uh, screaming and saying that everything's racist and misogynist. And now they've all transformed into fucking media critics now. Apparently, they're all uh, Ebert and uh, the other guy. <laughs> I can't remember. But they're all fucking media critics now. They all have a, a master's in theater and filmmaking, apparently. They, 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 whatever. They, they have the authority to 
uh, critique movies and TV shows and say how they're not as well written or whatever the fuck. And a lot of what they're doing is talking about uh, DEI, talking about wokeness, talking about uh, the agenda, quote unquote, talking about the, the message as critical drinker would call it. And a lot of the times what they mean by this is uh, black people exist or uh, gay people exist or whatever. And this guy, uh, hold up, let me see. He didn't post the original post that this was in response to. So it's hard for me to get context for it. But uh, you can read this. Uh, what I was basically getting at was that a bunch of anti SJW niggas uh, who's become movie review and video game review channels now, all their videos tend to be about how everything sucks because gay people and black people and everybody is minorities and they're all strong women and I hate it. <laughs> you know, they're not saying it in those words, but that's basically what they mean. And uh, what he does, he, he he does his the typical uh, I'm the black guy that everybody said talked white. You know, he, he's one of the people that really leaned into it. So he's he's gone into full debate bro tactics. Um, I think what I was responding to here was basically he was asking another person about uh, he was saying those channels don't all say that because uh, black people exist and gay people exist or whatever. If you have to prove or I'm sorry, let me back up. They're not saying that the movies are bad uh, or they're not all saying that the movies are bad because uh, women and black people are in them. You would have to provide data and statistics to prove that. <laughs> and I basically say, uh in all of this if you haven't read it yet i basically just say my nigga you don't have to bring up facts and statistics you all you have to do is click on their channel and you can see what they they're making videos about and the points that they're making about it and there these are not nuanced you know multifaceted things it it, it all in they the videos essentially boil down to you know Look at that. There's a woman there. It used to be a man. Wow, the agenda. Oh, look at this. There was a black person. There's a black person here. That used to be a white guy. Oh, the agenda. <laughs> and they, they they what they do is they take movies that actually they the, the movies do suck, but then they 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 turn it around and make it seem like the, the the reason the movie sucks is because the writer was trying to push the agenda to make black people and women and uh, gay people existing normal like it's this conspiracy or whatever and the point I make it I make because he's like let me see what his response was again so he says is hating minorities for is it hating minorities for existing or because of using tokenism as such as swapping pre-established characters to another race because making a video against tokenism isn't the same as hating minorities in my and media and uh, i respond to that basically saying uh, not in the comment that i'm about to show you now but in my mind i'm like bro you you don't have to say it's the same thing because when you look at how y'all are responding it's basically what you're saying like, you, you don't have to say the words, I hate it because black people are in it. All you have to do is continuously point out that, oh, this movie sucks. And look at, <laughs> ain't it ironic? There's a black guy in it. <laughs> look at this. This movie sucks. And also, there's women in it. <laughs> oh, I, I wonder if you can put those uh, puzzle pieces together, you know? You don't have to say that you didn't like the movie because they made a white character black all you have to do is continue to point out every single movie that comes out that has a black person in it and say that it's bad and mention that they were black because you're that those two things are basically the same thing and that's uh and what i say is 
um, even if it is tokenism, who cares? I don't even care if it's tokenism. I don't even care if the person is specifically writing their characters to uh, to be purely for representation's sake. I don't care about that. That doesn't factor into if the movie is good or not, or if the game or the show is good or not. Uh, and the uh, example that I bring up is Static Shock. You know, when Static Shock came first came out, I didn't know that the whole point of Static Shock and the universe that uh, the the guy from Milestone I forgot what his name was, but the whole universe that the guy from Milestone was making with all those black characters in it, I didn't know that that was the purpose of his the stories he were telling. I didn't know that that was his agenda, his scary agenda and message. And then when I grew up and found out that that's what it was, I didn't care. It didn't make a difference. I still love Static Shock because I wasn't thinking about, oh, why is there a black guy here? Why does there have to be media specifically for represent, representing minorities? Why can't you just make stuff? Because it don't work like that okay people make stuff for a reason people don't randomly come up with shit people are inspired by certain things some people are inspired by a sunny day some people are inspired uh by a really good slice of pizza they ate in uh the milestone guy's case he was inspired by the lack of representation in the comic book industry and the lack of characters for black people to relate to and he he made his stories for that now y'all don't complain about that because this was before the word woke and sjw existed so everything back then was cool but now that the word woke and sjw exist and y'all are fucking your brain rotted and you're always looking for niggas so that you could point it out and say that it's woke now you know, anything that has a minority in it, you fucking flip out. And then you try to make it seem like, well, actually, we're not saying that it sucks because they're black. We're saying that it sucks because they're making the story worse because they're going out of their way to make a character uh, black or whatever. And that's just not true. It's not true that it sucks because oh, they're dude, making a character uh, white or black or whatever the fuck. That's not what makes it suck. The Marvels doesn't suck because uh, it's about three strong, powerful women. It sucks for other reasons. Reasons that you motherfuckers never want to talk about. All y'all want to talk about is the agenda. You know what I'm saying? And I'll go to start, uh, you know, I'm going to entertain y'all with some skate footage, okay? Because I don't, y'all don't need to see that uh, page anymore. But, you know that's not the reason that y'all are mad about that shit and i feel like it's time for y'all to start being honest about it and maybe you have bought into this idea that well it's actually a, a principled stance against the agenda and feminism in in media well let me tell you okay as long as the artists who continue to create Whoa, these creations as long as most of them are the liberals that y'all hate, you're going to get more and more of it. What y'all need to do is stop crying about woke people all the time and get to making some shit. Get to writing some stories and not making it, uh, you know, this male power fantasy or this world that doesn't have minorities living it. Maybe I shouldn't play because <laughs> I'm terrible while I'm trying to talk and play. You know, maybe y'all need to start making shit and then this wouldn't be a problem. Now, uh, to piggyback off of what I just said there, what's happening now, uh, on top of the them not wanting to admit that black people and gay people and all that being in media, it just existing in media, not them not wanting to admit that that's a thing that's happening. Uh, uh, parallel to that, there's this thing about uh, beautiful women and why video games and movies, they're all trying to make all the females ugly. They're, tr they're trying to make them all look terrible. And every all the women are flat chested and they don't want to show ass cheeks. 
and this is a horrible feminist problem apparently and this is just it just goes to show the people who care about shit like this are fucking weird okay these are the these are the real degenerates okay why are these people so mad that they're not able to lust after fucking fictional animated characters the, the, the characters ain't attractive enough to them these 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 anime characters aren't attractive enough to them why why are people taking these niggas serious why <laughs> these people are uh taking this there's this game that exists hold up let me get out of here uh, trying to play the game to make this work isn't helping me I forgot what that name, the name of that game was. Oh, I'm so mad I can't think of the name of the game right now. Um, fuck, bro, I can't, I can't look it up. I, I need, I really want y'all to see what I'm talking about, uh, so that you, you understand the point I'm trying to make. But whatever, just imagine a video game. Imagine one of these post-apocalyptic video games a fucking cookie cutter game just like all the rest of them that's this futuristic uh post-apocalyptic game where there's a bunch of robots and scientific uh shit uh but it's in ruin somehow the world got destroyed and you know they still have technology but it's like shitty technology and whatever right and the main characters they're like anime characters but they have like they have the big, big boobs. I don't know if you can see me. Hold up. Let me see. I don't know if y'all can see me real good when I do this. Okay. They have the real big boobs. The real fucking luscious ju jugulars. Okay. They're fucking, they're delicious and sultry. All right. They have the, they have the big boob. Okay. They have the big boob. And, uh, the people... These uh, these Tyler Preston types. This is I feel like this is part of why he's even responding to my message here and to another message that I I did. They're like, yeah, we're standing behind this game. We're we're fighting against the system. We're gonna buy this game and support this game, and we want to make sure that this game does well so that more developers will give the, give us female characters with the big juicy boobs and their ass cheeks showing. This is the type of shit that they're worried about. And then they come to us on the left side of the, the aisle and say, your stories, why are your stories so bad? You're, you're trying to make characters and you're, you're trying to tell these stories about females and minorities and all this. And the stories that they're supporting is women got big boob. And we supposed to take these niggas serious. <laughs> we supposed to listen to these niggas about their media critiques. And this that's the reason they're supporting that game. It's a it's a political statement. It's 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 the principle. It's the principle of we should be able to see women with big boobs in video games. <laughs> these niggas, I say all of that. I tell all that story cuz none of that shit don't really matter in the real world, but I say all that to say these niggas are weird. These niggas, him, he's weird. The quartering, weird. Geeks and gamers, weird. Drinker, he's all right sometimes. Uh, he he's wrong most of the time. Uh, what's the rest of the? All these niggas who all their content. If they made a a thousand videos about uh, Brie Larson in the Marv when the Marvel Miss. Uh, Captain Marvel movie came out weird all these niggas they're weird they're social degenerates they're niggas they they've never felt the touch of a female these are niggas that we should not be taking serious so I'm I'm uh, talking about them offhand in this video right now because I'm thinking about it and I can make some content out of it and I'm glad that I could get some content out of this fuck nigga because he's he, he's one of these niggas that thinks he's smarter than he really is you're weird. You niggas are weird. And this is why 
the media is not on your side this is why nobody wants to listen to you nobody wants to take you serious you are weird you're not the norm you're not the normal ones okay the, I, I think y'all got it confused y'all think that we're the lefties uh, everybody left of you guys are like the pink hair feminists on college camp campuses saying that everything is racist and uh, uh, misogynist and all this shit we're not like that most people are normal most people are you know they don't even know what those words mean and also most people don't care if a fictional character used to have really big boobs in one game and then they shrink them down a little bit you know to make the game look kind of realistic because you know real women in real life who are you know fighters and all this shit they usually don't have their titties just popped out in a, a sports bra while they're fighting and shit uh at least not you know not to the degree that you niggas want to see you know like the ufc girls you know that's understandable because most of them they their chests aren't as big or, but you get the point i'm making it the the, the the what they want to see in video games is weird they're trying they're these are people who actually was attracted to the laura croft character on <laughs> from the ps1 days when she had fucking triangle titties and they're mad because in the new laura croft in the new uh what's it called bruh laura croft uh tomb raider they're mad that they made the tomb raider character look like a normal person <laughs> They're like, wait a minute, where's the titties? <laughs> I don't see no titties. This is woke. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be like, yeah, that's very normal. You're the normal one. We're lefty SJWs who are who don't like beautiful women. <laughs> you niggas is weird, okay? And that's really all I wanted to say. Uh, this video really wasn't even supposed to be this long. But I'm going to keep this going. I might make some videos tomorrow. I'll do a stream with my friends tomorrow. I just had to say this while I had it in my mind. You niggas is weird. And Tyler Preston, I hope you reply to my message. And I, I challenge, I hope you see this video. And if you want to, I'll have a discussion with you about any one of these little topics. Any about the, the, the beautiful women in game shit. I'll talk to you. You know, I'm not going to get overly political with you because you're one of them. Um, um, hold up. Let me make sure you see it. You're, you're one of these, um, actually ass niggas. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do this with you. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to go in a, on a cite your sources war with you. I, I won't do that. I'll have a conversation with you, but we're not going to turn this into a, well, did you look at this documented academic study about the, you know, I leave that to the destinies and the vouchers of the world, but I'll talk to you. We can, we can have a conversation, but, uh, you know, until then it's fuck you and it's fuck all the niggas that's like you. It is fuck everybody who make those points and make those videos. You're making the world worse. You're you're contributing to the the gender war. You're contributing to the, you're giving evidence to all the the feminists who say that men hate women. You're you're proving them right. You think that you're being nuanced and uh, deep and whatever. You're not okay. It just comes off as women hate. But anyway, that's that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. I'm, uh, uh.